are kicking off a brand new year, a brand new decade. There's just that feeling of like renewal and new beginnings and fresh, clean slates in the air. And so when I go to pick what I'm going to like, what my going to be sewing this month, I have that in my head. And when I go to plan out what I'm going to be sewing this month, like that is very loud and noisy in my head. Also sort of all the things that I was annoyed with myself about in the sewing room from last year are kind of like weighing heavy on me. And you know, I'm motivated to like do different and be better and all of those things. So when I'm going to plan for January, my first thought is don't pick a million things. <laughs> Like one a week you should be able to accomplish and um, you should feel really good about that. Also on top of that, no more works in progress. Finish everything till the end. Um, and with that, you know, finishing up some projects that I didn't finish from last year. So that's sort of where my mind is at. I don't know about you, but I am like strongly resisting the urge to sew for spring. Is it just me? I mean, maybe because the winter has been so mild. We haven't really had that like, you know, really freezing temperatures. It hasn't snowed, none of that. Um, so maybe my mind is just like, let's just skip over winter and let's just go to spring where I can sew all my dresses again. But I'm not, I am going to resist that for as long as I can because ultimately I do need stuff for, you know, the winter months. So keeping all of that in mind, I have um, a few projects that I've picked for this month and three of them are works in progress, which would feel really, really good. So let's start with those. I know I talked about this in my December plans video, but I didn't touch it in December. December, I was just, I had a crafting bug. I just wanted to like make cute things for the apartment. So I made pillows and sewing ornaments and wreaths and things like that. Um, I did sew a couple of things you saw in my holiday dress and that felt really, really great. I love that outfit. Certainly one of my favorites I've ever sewn. But I need to finish up this jacket. It really only needs buttons. And I think that's part of the reason why I'm like, you know, so hesitant because I don't want to screw it up. I don't want to screw it up. So I've got to finish the buttons and the belts and this guy will finally be done. This is like a year and a few months in the making. Um, so yeah, I definitely want to finish that because come, you know, February, March, this is going to be a great item to have in my wardrobe that I can reach for um, to stay a little bit warm. Uh, next up on the work in progress train is... This little jacket from Simplicity 8604, so cute. All I've done is cut this out um, and I cut out the version that the model is wearing. I just think that's so cute with jeans um, and a t-shirt just like she's wearing. The fabric is this really cool boucle that I got from Joanne. A couple of years ago, I feel like it was very popular and a lot of people picked it up. I just love the gold fleck in there. I love that it's navy. I love that it's black. So it goes with blue jeans and black jeans, which I have and love and wear a ton of. Um, and then you can be a little bit more neutral with your top color or you could do something really bright and fun. I just think it's gonna be a really, really cute, simple outfit and you know, when you're just not feeling like putting a lot of thought into what you're gonna wear, throwing on like a cute fancy jacket with a little bit of sparkle will instantly jazz up any outfit. So I am super excited to finish that up. I think that what stopped me from finishing this is I don't have a good lining. So I just have to grab some of that and I'll be off to the races on this guy. Um, next is, okay, so when I first started Going into making the holiday dress, my initial thought was to use McCall's 7719. And I even went on Instagram and asked everybody which bodice they liked best. I was definitely going to be making the flared skirt, but I was unsure about the bodice. And so a lot of people uh, chose the off the shoulder one, which I definitely want to try. But I had started this 
little version up here. I had this uh, ray uh, twill. I don't know if it's rayon twill or not. And I actually made the entire bodice. So this is kind of like a muslin, a wearable muslin. And when I went to fit it, it's enormous. It is so big. I have to probably take like, I don't know, six inches or something out of the back. It seems to fit well in the front bodice, but these little, I don't know. I, I looked and I put the, the back waistband pieces to like the pattern pieces together. And I was, I don't, I thought that I did something wrong. It's so big, but I didn't, it's just that big. So I need to take it in and do a lot of extra work to it. So for that reason, I was like, I'm not going to make my 2019 holiday dress out of this pattern because I don't know what to do with it. Um, my instinct is to try and make um, this bodice and just see if it's the same, if it's still very, very big, like this one. Wait, this one is the one I made. Um, and see if there's just some funny drafting thing with that version. I don't know. So that's what stopped me in my tracks on this. But I do have it all cut out. I have the lining cut out and everything. So it's just a matter of getting it to fit and then maybe trying another version. I don't know. Has anybody out there made this? 7719. I didn't even think to look on pattern review. I will do that too and see what other people had to say about it. Hi, you guys. I'm cutting in while I'm editing because after watching this video back, I was like, you know what? I should go on pattern review and see what they have. So I found three reviews for this pattern and all the reviews are great, but they're all for the version of the pattern that has the like full back piece. So I don't really know how to take that other than to go with my gut and to make a muslin of the other versions and see what happens there. But Fo Alexander, the third one there, she has a YouTube channel. So if you want to know more about her version of this dress, I will have that linked below. But let me know if you thought it was gigantic as well. Uh, and you know me, like I'm pretty good about the measuring, you know, I'm pretty good about knowing which size to cut. So I, I don't know what happened there. Okay, and then the last two things are actually for Sew My Style. So I did a first impression review of all the Sew My Style patterns for this year. Uh, last year, you remember, they didn't pick specific patterns. They just had like, um, in January, it was like workout wear. And then it was like jacket. And then it was like pajamas in December. They didn't have actual patterns. They just had like garment types. This year, they've gone back to doing specific patterns. There are two that you can choose from or you can do both. Uh, so for sure, I chose the Courtney bodysuit by Rad Patterns. Never worked with Rad Patterns before, but the bodysuit, it's knit. It's pretty straightforward. Not a lot of pattern pieces. I know it's going to sew up really, really fast. And I decided to make it out of this navy it's almost like a royal version of navy. Like if navy and royal had a baby, it would be this. And I have this fabric. I thought it would be great for a bodysuit because you could tuck it into like light colored denim. You could tuck it into black pants, which I think would be really cool. Um, I don't love navy tops with dark denim, but going back to my little jacket, um, how cute will these two things be together? It's not an exact match on the navy, but if you have black pants, then you're kind of telling a monochromatic-ish navy black story. This almost reads black until it, the light hits it, and then this is like a blue-blue. I don't know. I was just trying to think of ways, because I have this knit. I'm not going to make a dress out of it. It's too lightweight in my opinion, so it has to be a top. Um, so I thought a bodysuit would be a great way to tackle this because then, you know, it's always tucked in and it just elevates the look a little bit. And I don't really tuck things into jeans, dark jeans very much. I do have that wide leg pair. I don't know. I'll have to see. I don't know. I just picked, I don't know why I'm going on and on about the color. I will find a way to wear it. It's kind of looking purple. So that could be kind of cool. I don't know. Eggplant. It's definitely navy, but when the light hits it, it could be purple-ish. It's probably looking purple to you guys because of what I'm wearing. Um, 
Anyway, so a bodysuit, and I'm gonna do the long sleeve bodysuit, and there are like three different necklines for the back, and I think I'm gonna do the scoopiest one. I mean, why not? Um, I don't have any tops like that, so I'm gonna do the real scoopy back, and then the not so scoopy front so it doesn't fall off, um, and that'll be that. But they also have the, um, the culottes. Oh shoot, I forgot the name of them. Megan Nielsen? something culottes. Oh, I can't remember. But there's uh, various lengths. Um, and I was struggling because with Sew My Style, I really like to sew for my stash. Like, I like the idea of that being a stash buster for me. Uh, just because it feels like, I don't know why. Because I guess I can plan it out a little bit more. And, and also because the patterns for Sew My Style tend to be a little bit more basic. So I feel like I, the stuff I have in my stash that I'm not like reaching for to make like the hot new pattern that came out from Big Four, it, like this, for example, came from my stash. Like this is definitely just kind of like a basic type of fabric. So maybe that's why. But I was having a hard time finding fabrics. I think with the shorter lengths of the culottes, it's wider. So it ends up looking a lot like a skirt. So you really need something that's very drapey. And the longer the pants are, the narrower they are. So it looks a little less like a skirt, but still very, very voluminous. So I grabbed this. It's like a slub linen type of situation. And I think that with a lot of wash and wear, it will uh, lighten up even more. It's very thin. Can you see me through it? I can see you. Um, and the color I feel like is neutral enough for a bottom. I mean, I love a pop of color. I think some people were commenting on my Instagram post about it that they were going to do red, which I think would be really cool. Emerald green would be awesome. Um, but this is what I have in my stash. So I'll probably do one of the longer lengths as long as I can go with the yardage that I have here. And it'll just be kind of like a neat little take on suiting. You know, kind of looks like a suiting, but it's linen, so it's more casual. So that's where I'm going to go with this. And the only reason why I think I'm going to sew up both this month is because this bodysuit is going to take 30 seconds to sew. There are very few seams. You just run it through your serger and... The hardest part are those snaps at the crotch. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. So those are my plans for January. I'm eager to hear how many of you are going to be participating in Sew My Style. I know a lot of you on that video that I posted last week hadn't ever really heard of Sew My Style before. A lot of you commented that the patterns were very, very basic, which I agree. But I also feel like that's an area where I don't, I don't sew a lot of basics. So that's attractive to me to have something that can go with all the fancy like dresses and jackets and things that I am naturally inclined to make. I also have some fabric coming for February that I will be working on so that I can bring you guys a um like a Valentine's Day date night outfit. I'm real excited about it. So I'll be kind of working on that behind the scenes. The fabric's just not here yet. I also don't have a pattern picked. Um, so I want to have that finished by the end of this month so that I can bring it to you early in February in case you want to uh, steal my idea and make something similar for yourself. So that'll be in the mix as well. So, you know, one, two, three works in progress to sew my style, easy peasy quick sews, and then this Valentine's Day thing is, is what I've got on the agenda. Um, but I'm also curious what, I mean, are you guys sewing up jackets still? Are you guys ready for spring like me? Uh, let me know kind of where your mind is at for um, the month of January. So let me know what you guys think of my plans and let me know what your plans are. And I will see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.